Hello everyone, welcome to our Analyst Hot Picks. I'm Melissa Stupar and here with me is Spencer Izard, our uh, Principal Analyst from the UK. Welcome Spencer. Hello there. Hello. Um, so Spencer, what do you think are the hot topics in the market today? I mean, if I pick on one of the areas I focus on, which is digital customer engagement, I mean, the biggest topics this year continues to be the need for personalization and engagement. And it's been talked about as a hype uh, element, and I haven't mean, even hype, but even a practical element for, for at least the last 10 years. But prior to generative AI, it wasn't really something that organizations could really realize and could make real and, and, and engage properly. So I would say that's probably one of the biggest ones because these large language models have an ability through chat interfaces and other types of interfaces to give a level of insight and depth that current, say, chatbots in DC are just not able to provide. Um, and then one another, another hot topic, it kind, of, it kind of overlaps, but there's been a lot of uh, chat across the industry, um, again, for many years around omnichannel. This idea of creating a single channel the practical reality is that's not how businesses operate. They don't operate one single channel. What they need to do is unify most uh, majority of channels in their business to provide a, like a you know a single level of a singular level of data insight into their businesses. And so that I see this year in particular is is definitely one of the sort of you know hot areas. And I think it's also been driven by the sort of growth in AI and, and generative AI as well. I understand. Uh, and which one of uh, these hot topics do you think is particularly relevant now and why? I, I would definitely have to go with uh, personalization out of the two. It has personalization supported by um, deep learning AI, so in the form we most know of, of generative AI with things like ChatGPT. It finally provides organizations with a level of engagement at scale and insight that they previously didn't be uh, wasn't able to have. Um, now it's early days for this technology in the sense that you know at the moment there's a lot of strategizing happening this year. There's not a lot of like, hard implementation and, and adoption, but it has the it has the ability to finally drive personal shopper style engagements, which you know, historically, you know, to get a personal shop experience, you had to literally go to a personal shop or a person to get that experience. With generative AI now, it'll have enough information about you to be able to advise you in a similar way based on your questions. So I, I think that's probably the most, uh, most you know, unique opportunity. Yeah. Oh, that sounds amazing, actually. Hmm. Um, how do you think this will impact buyers and sellers in the upcoming months or even years? So again, very good question. I think for a seller side of things, it's a case of, you know, for a lot of the sellers who operate in this space, they have been trying to use forms of machine learning type AI for quite a few years to achieve this. It just hasn't ever, as a technology, very good technology, but for this use case, hasn't ever really been uh, suitable for what's, ne what's needed. So I think for sellers, they've finally got themselves into a position where they can offer a service to clients that can deliver. However, for buyers, there's a lot of there's a lot more thinking to be done. So, for example, for buyers, there is you know sourcing the right partner who has, understands the generative AI landscape. There's all issues around ethical uh, AI as well, um, and then there's a need to leverage frameworks like FinOps uh, and others, which is the, for, for financial optimization of these services as part of this. So, there's a lot of uh, continued growth of um, of this potential over the next, I would say, five years, if not a little, little bit longer. Initially, we're in that strategy phase right now. Okay, thank you so much for this insight, Spencer. Hey, you're welcome.